Hey, we're back. And we're going to start installing some lights. So um, we've got our puck lights, which are uh, pretty bright, neat, handy, pretty, all that good stuff. And uh, I decided I'd go ahead and splice the wire. And I soldered on my own extension. So uh, these are going to mount under the cable, or under the, <laughs> under the cabinets, and then through the through the hole that I'll drill in and then we'll run it along over to our terminal block. So step by step, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install terminal blocks at the very end of the cabinet and all my wires are going to run in. So my first two, uh, well actually my first four lights, I'm going to have two on one switch and two on another switch. So I'll run two hot to one terminal and two hot to another terminal and then I'll also run to a ground which will then go from one cabinet, another terminal block will go to another uh, cabinet, two hot on uh, each terminal, and then I'll run a ground from the front to this block, and then for the wardrobe back over here, or excuse me, this cabinet over here, I'll also install a terminal block, and two lights will connect to one, two lights to another, and a ground. And then from that one, I will run a ground over to my wardrobe where I have my switches and I have another small terminal block which I'll mount on there and that'll be the ground. So I'm most likely going to take a ground from the switch box into the terminal and then uh, also from the lights into the terminal block. That way I'm not running any more wiring through the cabinetry to the front. I can tie everything right here. So that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty handy. And let's see. So that'll be the first step is installing all of our terminal blocks where I want them. Then I'll mark and mount the base for each light under the cabinets. And then once that's in, then I'll be able to punch a hole through. Once I punch the hole through the cabinets, then I also bought uh, pieces of uh, channel track. And what I'll do is I'll set that inside the cabinet, mark where the hole comes through the cabinet, go ahead and punch a, punch a hole through the track, and then uh, I've got some, some mounting tape that I'll put on the bottom of each of the tracks, put that in place, feed my wires through, run them to my terminal blocks, cap them off. That way when you open the cabinets and look inside, uh, basically all you're going to have is the track in the center and I'm not running any more wiring from the center of the cabinet to the back and along the side and then when you're putting stuff in you'll happen to grab that wiring so the track is going to conceal all the wiring that uh, uh, will house all the lights so or vice versa the track is going to hide the wiring from the lights that's it to the terminal blocks and then uh, when the terminal blocks are installed in the uh, cabinet, I also have a cover that will mount over top of the terminal blocks to protect that so nothing got, comes up against it and maybe shorts it out. So that is, uh, that's our plan. That's what we're going to do. Mount the terminal blocks, mount the bases for our lights, drill our holes, put our track inside, mark for our holes, drill the track, mount the track, then we can install the lights in, run them over to the terminal blocks, and then I'll have to uh, put the connectors on and wire those in and feed that wire all the way around. Uh, basically just the ground wire is going to come around and tie into the cabinet where we have our switches. And with any luck, when we throw a switch, uh, we have lights. So that's uh, that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. And I also purchased uh, some of these little stainless steel uh, pulls that I'll be putting on the tops of the, of the uh, bench seats. Drill a hole in there and that way I can lift the, the bench seats up. Just an extra little doodad. I'm always buying something it seems like. So what else do we have? I think that's it. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started and start mounting the um, terminal blocks into place. And then we will 
uh, get those bases mounted. Now one of the handiest tools you're going to find is this little DeWalt and uh, it's pretty decent. Gets back in there where two hands can't. Put my screw in there, pull the trigger and then rotate this. Perfect. Look at that. And that's how we install that. Then we have our cover. That will go just like so. And we'll mount that once the wiring gets in place. And that will conceal everything right there. But that tool is well worth the money I spent. Try to get in there with something like this. I mean, you can't, unless you got an extension 12, 18 inches long, you're not going to get in there. So, all right, that worked out great. I've got two other cabinets I need to install that in. And uh, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I have the holes drilled and I've got the base on my track setting in my cabinet right next to the holes. And uh, what I'm going to do is take a magic marker and just kind of mark where I need a larger hole and then I can mount that right over top of this and then I can secure the base underneath and actually fasten into the, uh, the track and I'll hold everything in place. So uh, I may or may not put an extra piece on the end here. Probably don't need it because uh, the end of the track is here. My wire's right here. So we'll see on this end. I do have it about an inch away from the edge. That way the wires can come out and go right into the terminal block. I think that's going to work. And I'll put me a little wire loom here at the bottom. So when I run my wires out, they'll all go through that loom. So uh, from there, then they'll spread out to each terminal. All right, let me mark that. So now that we have our holes punched in and uh, our track mark, we went ahead and drilled our holes into the track and put some backing tape on. So the uh, mounting tape, hold that in place as we drill for our uh, bases for our lights. So we're gonna go ahead and drill those. We're gonna drill those right through here and run the screws in and they're gonna stick up inside here just a little bit, but that's okay because all that's hidden with the cover of the track wires will go around it so I'm not worried about uh, um, poking holes or anything so let's uh, mount uh, some bases now so we have the first base mounted and uh, it just has two small screws that go in here they're tapered heads so they're flush with the, uh, the mounting plate right there and then they uh, they come through here I think we're okay. I don't think it's, yeah. I thought maybe they were just a little bit too high, but I think that's gonna work out just fine. Cool, and they screw right in here, keep this in place. Plus it gives you a little extra bite underneath here. And now we can wire, uh, run the wires through, install our light, and uh, see what it looks like in the track. Cool, all right, let me do that. That's it. So let me give you a shot of that. 
So one light is in place and uh, looking good. That's what I'm saying. So there we go. We'll put that right there. That'll shine right over the top of the seat. We have another one here that'll kind of bounce off the table. Another one here, right? Bounce off the table and then we'll have another one coming off the seat. But on the inside, our wiring comes through just like so. I'll take a little piece of tape, tape down that wire. And when we snap on that track, it's gonna look ever so pretty. Okay, let me run uh, the next one. We'll get it in place and uh, then we'll do the next one and the next one. And we'll have four lights installed up there. Cool. All right, so we have the four lights now mounted. And of course I've got just the, the wires hanging out here on the edge. Next I'll feed those in the track and uh, one at a time put the terminals on so I can remember which one goes where. But I'm going to have the two center ones on one switch and the two outside ones on another switch. So uh, when you turn, them, turn the switch on, not all four of them are burning. And uh, I think that's going to work. I don't need to wire them one each. So we'll have two and two. And also up here on this edge here, we're also going to have somewhat of a reading light that will uh, be pointing down on this side. So when these lights are off, I can use the reading light somewhat like this one. But that's a little overkill because I think that's, uh, that's like 150 or 300 watts, something like that. Anyway, that's a, that's a lot of light. So now we can run our wiring over to the terminal block, get those spliced in and connected, and then we can run a uh, two power wires from there all the way around into um, our, our uh, switches over here. So that's our next task. The sun is going down and uh, doesn't leave much light in here for filming and I have this one lamp and I have a small space heater uh, running here so that takes up that takes up my power so either I kill the heat and then run another light or I wait till tomorrow I may just wait till tomorrow hang on so for gins and griggles, I, gr gins and griggles? How about grins and giggles? Yeah. Uh, I tuck the wires back into the cabinet uh, just to see what that's going to look like. And uh, I think that's going to look pretty cool. So when you come into the trailer, it sort of looks like that. Kind of sets it off just a little bit. A nice little added touch. And it kind of goes with the aluminum tracking up here so it does uh, give a little contrast and makes it nice and uh, clean looking so I think I think that's gonna be a wrap for this evening because um, if I try to reach up in there in the dark and can't see what I'm doing I don't want to mess something up and uh, a little bit of patience goes a little ways. I can think about my next next move. Because I still have two other cabinets to do. And it doesn't really take that long to uh, install these lights. Once, uh, where's my focus? Goodness gracious. Once you figure out where you want to mount them, um, go ahead and install the, the base. Put your lights in and voila they're in and just for beauty's sake i faced them all the same direction so I've, when i look up i got a nice little smiley face looking at me yeah. so with any luck tomorrow we'll have power on that and uh you'll get a get an idea how bright those things are so i might uh, actually be able to lay out the bed here and uh, then I've got me a tanning booth <laughs> all right all right till tomorrow which will be like a flash for you uh, we'll continue stay tuned okay so it's a new day and it's about 8 in the morning 
and uh, we started connecting the lights. So I've got my terminal ends and uh, tied into my terminal block already for uh, one light. And now we're going to do the, uh, the other three. So the terminal on the outside will be two for the two outside lights and the one on the inside will be for the two inside lights. And then we'll have a ground on the end which will run over to the next terminal block ground and so forth. So let me get some ends installed on this. Go ahead and uh, cap this back off and this one will be finished. Well with any luck I got everything installed just like so and uh, all my wires are going to my terminal block then we have our handy dandy cover that will go over just like so keeps it nice and clean then we'll run a hot wire and a ground wire through the wire clamps and along the edge of the cap and here into the other one. All right, getting that cap on that thing was a little tougher than I thought it would be. All right, next set. So I've got a couple of little test leads here that I'm gonna run down and I'm gonna test out the load on the controller. And just to make sure that my lights work before I go any farther, uh, because if I have a problem up here, I need to uh, go ahead and take care of that before I run to the next set of lights. So, uh, let's set up and uh, point my camera to the lights and we'll test each one. We'll do the two inside lights and then we'll do the two outside lights and see if these things turn on. Alright, you should be able to see that. So we're going to test the inside lights first and uh, let's just see if we've got power going to it and um, with any luck here we go. Positive to positive and negative to negative. Boom. There we go. A couple of, couple of nice lights. Sweet. Let's test the outside one now. Okay. Hopefully that works. And positive to positive and negative to negative. Here we go. Sweet. So I'll have a switch for those, click, and then uh, two for the center, and call it good. All right. Glad that worked out. Okay. Well, got me a little mess going here. So now uh, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clean up this section here since we're done and uh, put all my cushions back, open this up so we got some light, and uh, then we'll start on these lights here. So what I need to do is uh, get my lights out just like I did with these and uh, cut and solder some uh, thicker wire. The wire that's on, on those uh, lights are very, very thin. They're probably like 26 gauge, I'm guessing. Very small. So, whew, I'm pleased with that. I can't wait to get them on a switch. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, our mess continues. And I now have my other lights installed. So I've got my track in place, all my wires are in and around and into my terminal. So the one on the outside is for the two outside lights and this one will be for the center light. And then of course I have my ground. So those are installed and looking good. Sweet. All right, I have one more set to install and then we can start running our uh, wires to our switches and we can hook up a common ground and then when we throw the switches, we should have lights. All right, well, the last set of lights are now wired in. We have our track installed all the way across here and wired into our terminal. 
So now, I think my next step is to clean up all of this mess that I got going. And then we'll run our wire to our switch, hook up the ground, and flick some buttons, and hopefully, hopefully, let there be light. Okay. We are somewhat back to normal. Uh, cleaned up a little bit and cleaned out the cabinets. And now we are ready to start running some wiring over to our switches. So, uh, I hope I have enough. Well, I know I don't, but I'm going to run what I can, then try to hit to the store before they close and finish up. So just a real quick recap. We drilled our holes, mounted our plate, pushed the wires through, run them through the track. And then we have our terminal block here at the end. We have two lights connected to the first terminal, two lights connected to the second, then the ground. From the ground, we run over to our next set of lights into the cabinet and we run the, uh, the wires through our track to our terminal block the ground from the first one comes hooks into this one that ground also goes around to the next set of lights in the back and we have cover that will go over top of the terminal block just like this to protect the wires and we did that for all the lights to a terminal block on each set of lights. So this back one has two, two sets on one terminal, two sets on another terminal. And on the front, on this side here, we have one on one terminal and two on another. And then let me uh, switch my light and I'll show you how it's got it wired on the switches. So the hot wires from each one of the lights, the red wires, they come around to each separate switch on the switches. So on my first terminal, I have a hot wire from one set of lights here going to the first switch. On the second switch, I have my second set of lights. Then on this one, we have one light for here and then these two go on to the fourth switch. Then in the back here I have two lights connected to my fifth switch and then on my sixth switch I have the last set of lights. So we have six switches. This controls two lights, this controls two lights, this controls one light controls two lights, two lights, and two lights. So for the switches, everything comes pre-wired, has a hot wire, two hot wires for each set of switch, and those run all the way to the front underneath my um, panel back here into, the term into a DC terminal block. And then it also has a ground, which goes all the way to the ground side of the terminal block. Then my hot wire from each one of my lights, the red wire, connects to the switch block. The ground wire for each one of the lights is connected all together, so you're running one ground wire completely all the way around, the way I have it, back up to the ground side on my DC block. So just the hot wire comes around into the switches, and the ground wire goes all the way to the to the terminal block. That way I'm grounded and I have feed to my switches. So the next stage is to turn the switches on and uh, hope everything works as we've got hooked up. So that's how I've got it wired and uh, runs down through here. So everything is out of it out of way and 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 uh, Tied back pretty pretty nice. I might go back through and recable clamp some of the 
the wires under the under the the cushions here under the bench because uh, I have at least <laughs> probably have a hundred pounds of wire in this thing now that all the lights are in place so next step is to turn the lights on and see uh, how well they work I am happy to announce after a very long day that all of our lights are installed so Phew, dog. This has been a very long day. And the uh, the picture's not going to come out too great because uh, it's pretty dark. It's uh, about 5 after 9. And uh, I am pooped. So let me give you a shot what it looks like with all of the lights on. So right now I just have two lights on. The... Uh, uh, outside two right there that lights up the uh, dinette pretty well and then we have the uh, kitchen area and we have two outside ones center one and then in the back we have two outside ones and two center ones and I gotta tell you what it lights this place up real nice. I think that looks pretty cool. Awesome. Well, it come along. And, uh, whew, what a day. Well, I'm glad that you stuck it out with me this far, and uh, thanks for watching. We uh, made a lot of progress today, and uh, man, I'm actually uh, <laughs> very pleased with it. It's got a nice, uh, nice warm color to it. It's not a bright white, and it's not so blinding that uh, you can't look around. So, but it lights up the place really well and it looks really good. So, that finishes uh, this video and I think next is going to be, well, I guess now we have to start working on the kitchen area and worrying about the sink, faucet, and water tanks and such and uh, finish wiring up the fridge and the microwave. So, uh, other than that, I'll probably go around and tighten a few screws and put a few more clamps around some wires. But other than that, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we're, com we're coming along. We're making some progress. So, I cleaned up a little bit and ready to start the next task. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight because it is late and I have to get up early and, you know, brand new week, five Mondays to go before the next Saturday. So with that, I would say stay tuned.